We've hit week 10 of the Algae Buster Challenge at this point. Well, the 2.0 version of the Algae Buster Challenge after the first one uh, went not so well. And the rosy barbs that are here in the Running River Tank have done a phenomenal job. To get an idea of just how much work they've put in properly, I'm going to quickly kind of show side-by-sides as we progress through those 10 weeks uh, worth of short videos that I've put up on the channel so that you can watch this process unfold in only a couple of minutes. And then we'll come back and talk about what's next. Honestly, to me, it's always really impressive how fast certain things can occur and yet how slow they actually are. I, and what I mean is, if, you, if we'd have looked at this mess that was in here at the start, I don't know that we would have said, in 10 weeks that'll be tackled. But I think we also would be like, man, 10 weeks, that sounds like so long. But when we're letting nature do its job, time and patience is our friend. And as you can see, the plants look fairly healthy. Despite having that very thick layer of algae, all of this needle leaf java fern is doing great, and arguably it's very overgrown. So let's talk about what's next. There's a tiny amount of algae left in the tank. I'm sure you've seen some in some of the shorts. There's a little bit that's kind of stuck here underneath that got in there as things got torn up and little bits got thrown from the filter. There's a small amount in the roots here that they've still been kind of nibbling on. It'll probably take them another week or two to clean that up because it used to be much worse than it is now. And then there's a reasonable mat that's up here in these stems. And what it all comes down to is this. What we've noticed is they don't really chew at the stuff that's up in the stems. So I will be manually removing that in order to make sure that it's just gone. What else is next? Well, 
The Rosie Barbs have basically done their job. There's a little bit more they're going to clean up. Uh, they might be in here for another three weeks or so, maybe a month. But eventually they're going to move over to what will eventually become the former Guppy Mansion. That tank is uh, ready for new fish, basically put. I mean, there's still some of the male guppies in there, and that's their home for right now. And I don't anticipate the Rosie Barbs will cause any problems with them. So they can move over there because I'm starting to get a Blackbeard algae outbreak over there. I've got any of their help. Once we do that... I really need to thin out a lot of this Java Fern. It is so overgrown, and we've kind of lost some of the other things that this tank was doing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove some of the algae manually. Uh, I'm going to remove quite a lot of this needle leaf Java Fern and kind of rearrange a few things. There might be some new plants coming in. A bunch of these stems basically need to be trimmed down and planted down in the water to get them back to where they were, uh, as opposed to their immersed form. I want them in their submerged form. And then Running River will go back to just being Running River. Now, a lot of my Running River rainbows are kind of getting old. I've lost a number of them due to age, and that's okay, right? They just, over time, I'm going to lose some. The rest of them get to live out their lives in this tank. I'm just going to give them a little refresh that'll give them some extra swimming room. Uh, it might freak them out for a day or two, let's be honest. But once that's done, then I'll give them extra room, and they'll probably be very, very happy about that. I'm also considering doing a change to the filter that's on this tank. One of the problems that I run into is because of the Java Fern, and by cleaning up it might fix this problem inherently, lots of stuff gets stuck on the intake and it messes with the flow of the filter about once a week. So I'm pretty forced to do weekly maintenance on this tank because eventually the flow gets down to a crawl and that's where it's at now. Uh, I did some water changes, but I need to clean that thing out. Basically, I need to see if by rearranging some plants, removing some plants, if that fixes my filter problem. If not, I'm gonna change the filter that's on this aquarium. Um, I have some spares lying around. Uh, and what I might honestly do is just move the Aqua Clear 110 to the side here and get side to side flow, make it more river-like for the running rivers. Uh, but I'm gonna do a few experiments first. It's probably gonna take me a month or so to figure all of that out because I gotta test something, see how it is for about a week or so, try another thing, try another thing, etc. if I don't like the first thing that occurs, which is, thinning out some of this plant matter and uh, getting it back to something a little less overgrown. But that's it. Uh, I just wanted to do kind of a short video. At this point, I'm going to stop doing the Algae Buster Challenge shorts. Um, I just feel like it's well covered. And between uh, the new series of videos that will be coming out, we're working on names for that. So go to the community tab and vote because you get to name it. You get to choose what this series is called. So please, please, please go to the community tab and vote. Uh, I'll put a link to one down in the description below, but uh, that'll be the new series. I walk through my process of individual viewers' problems on their aquariums, probably mostly plant and algae related, let's be honest, and try to help them using the process that I would do. So that's going to give them informed, educated guesses on what my process would be to try and resolve the problems they're experiencing and exactly what steps I would take and how long I believe it would take to resolve them. Uh, so there'd be an example of like, hey, I want you to do this for a week. And then after that, I don't need you to check these things. And then if this goes on, we're on the right path, right? That kind of stuff. Not like it'll take exactly two months, three days and 37 hours. Not that we're not going that route, but more of like what the timelines look like for each step in this process and how I would walk through things to see if we're on the correct path to solving the problem and finding long term success. If you've enjoyed this video and you're looking forward to the new series that's coming up, please leave a comment down below, give it a thumbs up, all the usual stuff. What has impressed you the most about this particular Algae Buster Challenge? Is it how much the Rosie Barbs have done? Uh, is it just the fact that it took 10 weeks plus? Whatever it may be, I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. We've got a whole ton of stuff that's coming up. Uh, if you're a member and you do have a problem with whether plants, algae, whatever it may be, and you're coming in for help, I'm, I'm going to prioritize members. It just It's a little bias, I know, but I think it's one of the things I can do to give back to a lot of my member community. If you're having trouble, email me and especially give me your YouTube username so I can go like, hey, you're a member. I'm going to prioritize you. You'll get an individual video. Uh, it'll be up on the channel. And I'll also reply via email to give you some heads up of what I'm going to basically set you on pathwise. Uh, although if I produce it fast enough, you might just get the video straight up. So <laughs> it depends on how things go. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching and stay awesome.